Welcome to UPR Info Database. This video will provide you with a short demonstration on how to use our database. UPR Info's database is a free and accessible tool that can support your human rights monitoring and advocacy work. The new version of UPR Info's database was launched in May 2020. Amongst the different features of UPR Info's newest database you can find an easy simultaneous access to statistics and recommendations, an access to information in French, timely updates of the recommendations and voluntary pledges, new thematic issues to facilitate your research, and a search bar that works like a Google search bar. Finding UPR Info's database is very easy. All you need to do is type UPR Info database or type the link you can find on the screen, upr-info-database.wazi.io slash en slash, and the database homepage will appear to you. Particularly, in this video, we will focus on how to use one section of the database to its full potential, the Recommendations section. Once on the main page, on the top left corner, you can easily access the Recommendations section, and by clicking on it, it will open up to you. Once you access the Recommendations section, the screen will appear divided into two main sectors. The majority of the screen is occupied by the Recommendations cards. Every single recommendation uploaded and published to the database appears vertically, with all the information it carries, but we will get to this later. On the right side of the screen you will find all the different filters available on our database. Each filter can be combined with the others to make your research as specific as you want or as broad as you want when you're looking for recommendations. The filters made available on the database are the UPR cycle number, the UPR session number, the states under review, the regional groups for the states under review, the organizations for the states under review, the recommending states, the regional groups for the recommending states, the organizations for the recommending states, the action category. This is a unique feature of UPR Info which assesses the type of actions recommended on the basis of a scale, going from one minimal action to five specific action. The response to the recommendation consisting in the position of the state under review that can be supported and noted. When recommendations are partially supported, they are categorized in the noted category. Lastly, the issues raised with the recommendation, about 70 different of them are available. The main rights and vulnerable groups are covered in this feature. The AND OR option is very useful when you're looking for one or more recommendation that include all the options you selected. For instance, if you want to find recommendations cards that include women's rights, and rights of the child combined, you will need to use the AND option, while when you want to see recommendations on women's rights only, or rights of the child only, or the two combined together, the OR button will come handy. One of the filters feature you will notice when looking for recommendations is their instant update. For instance, if you are looking for recommendations from the third cycle, addressed to China, on an issue such as international instruments, you will see that each time you select a specific filter, all of the other filters and all the recommendations on the screen are updated to narrow down your research easily. The search bar you find in the recommendations section and not in the database front page is a very helpful tool for your in-depth research. It works just like a Google search bar and it allows you to look for recommendations concerning very specific issues not listed amongst the 70 our database offers. For instance, if you're interested in finding recommendations that address albinism, the CSV button allows you to download the selected recommendations into a CSV file that can be converted into statistics data afterwards. On the contrary, the reset button allows you to reset the whole search. Back to the recommendations card, every single of them includes from top to bottom. The number of the recommendation, as you can find it on the official OHCHR reports, the cycle number, the session number, the state under review, the whole recommendations text, the recommending state, the action category, the response, the issues raised and the date the recommendation was added to the database. By clicking on view, both on the recommendations card and at the bottom of the filter section, you can have access to the single recommendation. Lastly, when you're looking at each recommendation individually, you can have a look at all the filters results that UPR Info's database provides that weren't shown on the main page. That's the end of our short tour. If there is anything you would like to have help with, please get in touch with us at info at upr-info.org. We hope that our database can support your very important work in improving human rights through the UPR. Thank you very much.